Good day and welcome back. So we're going to get ahead and get started on the Eagle 2 build. This is the 148 scale, 22 inch, whatever, you know, the bigger of the two, uh, round two Eagle Space 1999 Eagle model kits that are out. Um, I just recently got it and you know, I'm really excited about getting into it. This is the laboratory pod version. So it is a little bit different than the one that's not the laboratory pod because um, it is made to to be quote unquote accurate to the filming miniature. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started on this week's project. So like most things, you start at the cockpit, you know, step one, and it's basically step one through five, but I'm calling them step one. Pretty much put the cockpit together. As you can see, it's really difficult. Um, the real trick is just painting. And, you know, as you can see here, it's basically just a, an off-white. Um, I use Wraithbone and then highlighted orange and uh, rubber tires. And then just going through and doing a really quick pin wash at the the raised panels and that just highlights the panels i don't want to you know go really heavy because i just want to sh show the differentiation but i also don't want to make it a deep line right so right here is pretty much as as deep as i want those colors to go and we just go around and then this is what we're going for right this is kind of the look that i'm trying to get and this is what i end up with and that works so you know we have this and move on now this is a recurring theme seam lines seam lines seam lines i could probably fill hours and hours of video of cleaning seam lines for this and and i will probably mention it a bunch of times through the build but seam lines seam lines seam lines they are brutal you have to go through and do them all i found like even here there was a one that i missed when i was when i put these pieces on now the pieces fit very well i just missed a nub um again the pieces just they just clip right in that's the nice thing about so far the engineering on this kit is that this piece is, the pieces so far are fitting very well so it's put together hit it with um hit it with the uh, tamia thin do the same thing with the uh back wall um and again orientation is irrelevant because it's the same thing up and down at least for this piece um, and then that's that so again we get that done the cool thing is that the beak just sort of clips on now seams again seam lines seam lines seam lines have to do some cleanup and you know I end up going through here I spend probably an hour just cleaning that up and then we move on to the spine <clears throat> now this is something that I do want to call out the sprue gates are huge so what I do is I actually cut the sprue and then I go back and trim it um, I found that that made it easier since I had to clean the seam lines anyway, but I didn't want to go digging in. I found that to be smoother. The putting together of this is actually pretty straightforward. The way they key in is nice and they key in fairly straightforward, but there you could get flex the, the way they are. They're not solid. There's enough room in that that they could be. So I used my my mat to put it in and that got me, you know, pretty much straight up. So, you know, looking at what it is, and then once you build it up, right, you, you've got to put the two pieces together and they tell you to start at the bottom, then go to the top and fold them in. And you got to be really careful on how that works. And then the instructions, read this instructions very well, because it's, it's actually very clear on what they want you to do. You want to dry fit the top, then do the bottom. And so I did, and it works. So you just go through, you, you put each of the, the top piece is on and once you've you've got your orientation you just hit it with extra thin and no capillary and it works you know the, the process works you know no real no muss no fuss really and then let it sit <laughs> just walk away from it and let it sit okay so the next pieces are the cages and the pieces for this walkway so 9 10 and 11. um again seam line seam line seam lines now you see these two nubs here. This is a piece they tell you to use this brace here at the bottom at, to orient. And you've got pieces here that will show you, you know, basically they only go in one way to, to hook up together. Um, now what I do <clears throat> is I will use this Revel Cement as a starter to 
kind of get them to stick. Um, and then I'll go back and use Tamiya Extra Thin to lock them in. So I just put just enough. The thing is you want to be careful of these nubs. You don't want to glue that to that end brace. Right, that there, you, you, you can just plug those in, they'll stay put, but you don't want to actually glue it. You want to keep the glue clear of that. So just get the orientation, get these two pieces on. It's a little fiddly, but you can do it. It's not, you know, you, if you're patient, you can get it there. And then go back and I hit it with extra thin. And, and what I found was I kind of had to be careful with that end piece just to get it on, that, that end bar right there. Um, that wanted to walk, which is why I wanted to use the extra thin to get that locked in place. And I go in, I hit the front and back um, with those, and then I'll leave them sit. You know, let them sit like this overnight, and they're good and solid. Um, and I did this for both sets, and we got it. The last piece are these detail pieces. Um, they don't fit so well, <laughs> so I did have to clamp them a lot. You know, once I did that, hit it with a little bit of filler, we were good. And that took care, that, that got us to the end of step nine. And there we go. So that's where we're going to tap out for this week. Uh, 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 you know, life's been busy, so getting into and getting a bunch of this work done has, has been a little slow, but you, you kind of need to take your time with these pieces anyway, uh, especially the girders, getting those girders put in in the right orientation and letting them dry solidly and cure up. Uh, that's going to be really relevant because it's, it's, they are key to the orientation of the whole machine you know it's it's really what ties it all together so it's it's kind of a good thing to take the time um at least for me for for that to be done so uh when we pick up next time we'll go ahead and build the two central corridors and i'm chewing on some ideas about that cockpit um but we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh, throw rocks off that bridge when we get to it later so that'll be next week so until next time thank you very much for watching hope this is entertaining and useful and happy modeling.